Hi everyone and welcome along to a spatial tutorial. I'm James Allen and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your encoders in Sam Broadcaster when you stream with Spatial Net. An encoder takes the audio being played through Sam Broadcaster, such as music, interviews or voice, and streams it online. You have three options when it comes to encoders. First, there's MP3. MP3 is compatible with most media players, sound devices and web browsers, but the sound quality isn't as good as, say, AAC. Then there's Windows Media. Any PC running Windows XP or higher already comes with a Windows Media Player. And because it's a Microsoft program, it's compatible with Silverlight for playback on the web. But if some of your listeners are on a Mac, they may have a hard time downloading the player and listening to your stream. That's why the reach on this graph is a bit limited compared to MP3. And finally, there's AAC. AAC has the best sound quality, even if you're using a lower bitrate. It's also compatible with all sorts of web players, like those based on Flash and Silverlight. Plus, it's supported by mobile devices, which means your listeners can tune in from a smartphone. That's why AAC is becoming a standard format in streaming. To set up your encoders, the first thing you need to do is create a Spatial Net streaming account by going here to spatialnet.com. Then click on the login button and choose new member. When you stream with Spatial Net, you're looking at one of the most stable platforms out there. It's great for radio stations of all sizes, and it was designed to work seamlessly with SAM software. It also means you can automatically list your online radio station on Audio Realm, which is Spatial's own online radio directory. But most importantly for this tutorial, streaming with Spatial Net makes it much easier to set up your encoders. To create a Spatial Net account, all you have to do is fill in the form and click register. You'll also have to select the streaming plan you want to purchase. Now return to Sam Broadcaster, click on desktop B. In the encoders window, click on the plus sign and select an encoder. In this pop-up you'll see a number of encoding options. The default is Spatial Net, so let's click OK. On this panel we need to log in, so let's enter my Spatial Net username and password. Once you're logged in, this shows us a number of server types to choose from. You can choose from Shoutcast versions 1 and 2, or Windows Media. To start with, I'll encode to the Shoutcast server, and then I'll show you how to set up your encoders with Windows Media. For now, select Shoutcast v2 and click on Next. This opens up the encoder window, where there are two options, AAC and MP3. Let's start with AAC. It's the default selection, so from this window, I can configure most of my initial settings. First, let's choose a codec, which I'll set to AAC Plus V2. Then we'll change the quality to high quality. I'll leave the sample rate as is, and set the bit rate to 64 kilobits per second, because with AAC, it still sounds good. For my channel mode, I'm going to select stereo, because my bit rate is higher than 48 kilobits per second, and because it'll give me the best stereo compression. Then on top, I'm going to check auto start encoder after, and leave it at five seconds and then I'm also going to leave Auto Reconnect Encoder After checked. Now let's go back and do this for the MP3 options. If I go back to the second tab here, I just have to select MP3 and the window changes. Since I'm already up here, I'll click Auto Start Encoder After and leave Auto Reconnect Encoder checked. Then below, I'll set my bit rate to 64 kilobits per second, my mode to joint stereo, because it'll give me the best stereo compression, and leave my sampling rate at Auto. Now let's click on the Station Details tab and fill in the blanks about the station. Leave Enable Title Streaming checked, so your station will stream song information. And also leave List Station on Shoutcast.com checked, so that your station will end up in the Shoutcast directory. Now we can move over to the Archive tab and check Save Stream to File, which means your stream will be saved as an audio file on your hard drive. Make sure it's going to save the file in the location you want, I'm going to point this to a folder on my C drive called Radio Recordings, so it's easy to find. I'm also going to leave the default setting of new file for each session, so that whenever I broadcast a new audio file will be created in my recordings folder. Now let's click OK, and you'll see that the MP3 encoder has been added to the encoder window. With Sam Broadcaster, you can encode in various audio formats. So, if you want to add an AAC encoder, just click on the plus sign and follow the same steps we just went through. Now, let's set up a Windows Media encoder. In the encoders window, click on the plus sign again. 
Let's click OK to accept the default of Spatial Net Encoder. Now select Windows Media and click Next. Again, I'll check Auto Start Encoder after and leave Auto Reconnect checked. Then there are options under Choose Your Profile. Here I'll select my kilobits per second. I'll go for 64 and click on Next. Then I'll fill in my station details and save my stream to file. Click OK and I'm finished. And there it is in the encoder window. If you want to delete an encoder, just select it and click on the minus sign. So that's it for setting up your encoders. If you haven't already, watch the video on setting up your stats relays. I'm James Allen and I'll see you all in the next spatial tutorial.